Good morning, Battle Buddies. Today we are back in Dallas, Texas, where we are at the Dallas Zoo, and we are here for the total solar eclipse. And unfortunately, the weather is not on our side this morning. It's a pretty cloudy day. There's still a little bit of a glare, but we're still holding out hope that come one o'clock, it'll clear out for us. So here at the Dallas Zoo, they are actually doing a solar eclipse event where they're gonna have different specialty foods that is themed for the eclipse or like space-like. So I think that's pretty cool. And you also get the eclipse glasses when you come here today as well. And I'm pretty excited to see how the animals react, if they act any different. We're just gonna see how it turns out. All right, so why is this a big deal? This total eclipse happens every 12 years. So once every 12 years and the path changes it's never the same path so we just happen to be really lucky and fortunate that the path is right here in dallas texas and it's just one path that goes straight through the i'm gonna sound like a nerd i'm not really certain how to say this but it goes through the northern hemisphere maybe i don't know but it, it goes in a certain direction it's a line of totality where it goes into complete darkness for about four minutes this is pretty serious there's people out there that actually chase this type type of stuff there is a 105 year old man by the name of Laverne. I'm gonna butcher this. We'll type his name up on the Laverne Beiser. So he's an, an eclipse aficionado and he has seen 12 total eclipses in his entire lifetime. And then he's here in Dallas going to see the 13th one. So this is a really freaking big deal. So if you ever get a chance to be in the path of a total eclipse, I mean, check it out. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime type of thing. And again, we're fortunate to be here. So come join us. I'm excited. What is going on with them today? Normally I just see them with their heads down and like drinking water, or eating or whatever, but like they all have their heads perked up straight. why that happens every time we come to the zoo. Even when Aaliyah was a baby, the tortoises are always mating every single time we come to the zoo. So if you want to see uh, tortoises mating, just come with us to the zoo. It just so <laughs> happens that it always happens that way. <laughs> oh, but that's for our patron. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh! You're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? That's good turf. <laughs> it's good. Feels good. Time to go see the tigers. Oh, the Sumatran tiger. They're big. Oh, it's warm Ooh, in here. Oh, it's humid in here. <laughs> and here's where they have the false gario and a Malayan giant turtle. And they're right over here. I don't know if I've ever seen that. They're humidifying mm -hmm. the habitats for them. Oh, he's a chunker. He just, he just ate. Yep, it looks like he just ate. He has a little bump on his nose. He's up and moving today. He looks like those like chocolate mints you'll get at Olive Garden. <laughs> wow. Jeremy, what are you? Didn't realize there was a second one. Now he's on the move. It's like Take they're. Take my picture. They seem, Take my picture. Yeah, they seem really frantic. <gasps> oh no! Oh hi. Where are you trying to go? Oh my god. Um, sir. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Remember we were at like Petco or something and like one of the animals escaped?
The timber rattlesnake is on the move this morning. Texas gardener snake. Bended rock rattlesnake? I don't think we've ever been to a zoo where the reptiles are just very active. I don't think it has nothing to do with the solar eclipse. I just think... It's a cloudy morning. It just... But they're inside, so how would they know it's cloudy? Well, maybe they just got fed because it's morning. Maybe they sense it. They're animals. Right? They're more in touch with their... Instincts. Yeah, their natural instincts. They're more tied to Earth than than we are. Yeah, normally um, they're always sleeping, and they were pretty yeah, no, active Yeah, no, they were pretty active, so... I, that was that was neat. That was something interesting to see. Yeah. It's the new Gorilla Trek VR. Oh, we have to try it. It's looks like seven dollars. Do you want to try it? I guess we can. Do you want to try it, Leo? Yeah. All right. Gorilla Trek VR. Well, you, you did the shark one, and I really liked it. I was holding my goggles the whole time. Yeah, it was calming too. It was. It was really calming. All our, ours didn't move that much because we were going with the motion of the water, and they just basically attached like the camera to the shark, so we were moving with the shark. Yeah, it um, it was very calming. You said it would put you to sleep. It was. I could have fallen asleep. Also, when shark's eye twitches, apparently that means it's stressed. Mm -hmm. Cool. So well, how was yours? You did the gorilla one. Yeah, uh, so mine was like, I forgot the gorilla's name, Zircana. He fought with the um, the main pack gorilla, and he had to make a decision, and he ended up leaving the tribe, him, and he took one of the gorilla's wives, and they left. And then they had babies, and the little babies were moving around. You were moving around with the babies. It wasn't anything crazy, just a couple like little bumps. But it was really fun. It was really cool. Something unique. They, oh my god, they all have their wings open. That's pronounced specifically because that's specific to you. See, even the Galapagos tortoises are moving around. Oh, he just squatted down. He's done moving. All right, so it is 12 o'clock now, about 20 or so minutes till the eclipse starts, and we are starting to slowly see some blue skies. Not as much as we would have probably hoped for this event, but at least it's something. I'm surprised the cheetahs are out and moving. Oh my gosh, she's coming right up here too. Is it just me or do they all look like they're pacing around like a lot today? Yes, it's partial until 1.40. Oh! What is, so what is it going to do? It's going to cover the sun. It's going to get dark. All right, so we just finally came to the other side of the zoo. We've been trying the north side of the zoo all morning and just trying to get the footage of some of the animals before the eclipse starts and to see how they're reacting beforehand, which they've been pretty active. Very active. Some of them were pacing around. A lot of them were pacing around. Yeah. So now we've made our way over to the Savannah in Africa part where we were like, oh my God, there's so many people over here. Well, we were standing in line and this is a great spot to view the eclipse. We're right here in front of the elephants. And someone in line was saying that the security is now kicking everyone out of the gorilla and ape area, right? Mm -hmm. Like all the apes. So. Because not... of 
it's going to be too dark or something? I'm not sure if it's going to be too dark or maybe they were worried about how the apes and gorillas are going to react. I'm not too sure. So we grabbed ourselves a little lemonade and a little spiked lemonade for us <laughs> to enjoy. And the partial eclipse has officially started. And so now we are just waiting around and it is hot. It's really hot. Now. Hmm. This is like kettle corn. So this is the space popcorn that the zoo had today in different colors for the eclipse. They have it in like black, yellow, purple. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's just kettle the corn? theming. Yeah, kettle corn. It's a fun but little snack. But it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Right? It's like a little theming. Well, I mean, more butter. who doesn't like the theming, right? Yeah. Good theming. Yeah. It's not much, but the fact that the zoo is doing something like this yeah, for this the eclipse, cool. that's really cool. I think the black ones are softer. This so is the... These are the moon pies, which, yeah, they look a little more like s'mores. Is that edible glitter? Yeah, it's edible glitter on top. Oh, look at that. Oh, the, I guess because it's super hot out here, the marshmallow is super gooey. Of course, gooey. show how hot it is. I mean, I'm kind of confused. They called it moon pie, but they're more like s'mores. I want to say it's like a deconstructed s'mores, but it kind of is. Yeah? Because the chocolate inside, or Wow. It's the marshmallows inside and the chocolates on top. I mean, just like a little fun snack. It's really nothing crazy. There you go. The moon's slowly covering the sun. Uh, we have to keep interchanging glasses. So we have our sunglasses and we keep going back to the, um, the solar eclipse glasses. And I'm just worried we're going to mess up once and put on the actual glasses, our sunglasses, and look up. And then get our eyes toasted or something. Hey, now it looks like a crescent moon. Yeah? It looks like a crescent moon now. Don't look at it. I'm... But it's still not that dark outside yet. Not yet, but I think it's the only dark that we're seeing is the clouds mm -hmm. right now. Because it's still like clouds are rolling through every few minutes. And because those clouds really don't provide like much shield from the sun. So that's why it's probably not as dark. There we go. Look at that. Looks like a banana. <laughs> So the way it looks outside right now is like very hazy. Like it's not like overcast. It's like kind of dusty looking. Yeah. But we are by the elephants too. So I wonder if that has anything to Like do kicking up sand and stuff? Maybe. For the first time, the animals aren't being glared at by a million people. Because yeah. everyone's looking at the sun. It's getting dark, it's getting, it's getting, getting dark, dark it's getting dark. Wow. Yeah, you were talking earlier about like a yeah. haze and now it's, it's really... Like, it's like different, it's not like a, like um, it's not like it's getting dark, it's like a weird it's haze. Rocket. It's rocket, it's the drone. You see, see that? The, the rocket, oh. look at the rocket over there. I don't know there. if the, the camera drone. can pick it up, but yeah. And then there's a drone right there. Did it blind your eyes? No. I don't want to look at it. You can look at it without them. You, you can? can look at it. Oh my god. Ah! Look 
at that. Look at that. That is sick, man. Crazy. That's the moon. <laughs> the moon with light shining behind it. It's when the darkness and the light collide. I can't get footage of it though, but wow. Yo, that that's that's freaking crazy, man. Yeah, you can see uh, it just for a brief. I mean, yeah. As wow. Meow Wolf says, the real and real collide, but this it's the light and darkness collide. That's uh, sick. This is really freaking. Cool. I can't really get good footage of it on my phone or anything. It's just so unreal to see it in person. But it, look, it looks sick, man. Yeah. Like, oh and my there's God. a drone. There's a drone in the sky recording oh, it. We wow. all saw a rocket. And it is in fact dark out here. Of it. You saw it? I saw it. Look, look, it's look, getting bright look. already. That's so crazy. The that, was a, that was a quick uh, nap. <laughs> yeah. The others, see, they were over there by the enclosure earlier, like exactly where they are now. I think they were like, oh, it's time to go in. They thought it was feeding time. So I'm kind of upset. I thought I was recording with this bad boy. I had it all set up. I had the filter on here. It looked amazing. I wasn't even recording. So I'm bummed, but hopefully we have footage on this camera, on your phone. And maybe Aaliyah maybe snuck a few pictures, I don't know. Her phone's in the bag. Oh, she did it. <laughs> oh, it is in my bag. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. So, you guys know more than I know right now, so. But hopefully we got some good footage yeah. just with the vlog, just to see how dark it was in mm -hmm. the time lapse. Yeah. So, I'm really excited to Me see too. that. So, we'll see. All right, now we're going to go see the other end of the animals and see what they're up to. You know, continue to look at the sun. I think a lot of the lions thought it was just nighttime and then now it's morning again. Like, what the heck? Yeah. I didn't get a good night's sleep. So he's just over there by the glass. I don't know if you can see him. Or maybe they're like, huh, well, it's our daily dose of that one day. And the other ones, I think they went on the other side of the rocks. That is crazy. <laughs> this is the restaurant, the Serengeti Grill, and they have the viewing area. Just literally right here in the restaurant, and he's up against the window. Oh, he's sunbathing. Look at him. He's like bug. <laughs> it does look like bug. He's sunbathing. The other one's playing in the mud, like wigs. Mm -hmm. It's a bug and wigs. No. Oh, they're trying to smell each other through the fence. Aww. Hey, did you hear about the four minute nap? Oh. Okay. Oh my god, he's oh he's rolling in the dirt. Itchy? Yeah, they got big Yeah. Wow. I have never seen an ostrich do that. Oh look at them, they're running and everything. The zebras too? Look at all the zebras. They're all fairly active over here. They're coming up close, and this isn't even the feeding area. Yeah, they have a TV on from NASA where you could watch the footage of the eclipse in here as well. And it's a little air conditioned in here, so it feels nice. That's so cool. Really roomy in here, too, and no one is in here. Yeah, we did notice that people right after that people. All right, guys, that is the end of the eclipse day here at the Dallas Zoo. I think it was a pretty fun day. Definitely different than what we would normally be used to. Um, we got to see a little bit of the animals in action, and a lot of the animals that we typically see when we come to the zoo were way more active today than we've seen before. So now I don't know if that has anything to do with the eclipse or if it's just they're feeling good today and there is a nice breeze out, but that was a really cool experience. But overall, I think it was a pretty fun day. Let us know in the comments if you got to experience this and where you went to experience this. 
we went to the zoo obviously so let us know where you went so again this is awesome and um it's one for the books definitely one for the books all right guys so once again thank you for watching and we'll leave some links in the bio if you'd like to you know donate a coffee for us or just any updates for our upcoming adventures definitely take a look at that and we'll see you next time bye bye, bye guys.